Hello people of the internet, it's Amanda and the latest episode for Remote Niman Kesatsu is now up on NTV's official YouTube channel and it picks right off after what happened yesterday where basically um, we have Jiro-chan locked inside a room and that he's seeking help from Kai-kun to you know, find him because he doesn't know how he's locked up there. He's just so scared because of the idea that you know the, the shovel killer is has access within within the the police academy and that's just freaking him out um and the thing of this is that i feel like we're never really going like at this point after seeing episode one and then episode two you know initially i thought that it would lead us to certain clues about you know who the shovel killer really is or like if there's something beyond the surface of what was revealed to us by the end of episode eight but i do feel like we, these filler episodes are basically just trying to um, to prove to us or to show to us or to really rub the idea that Jiro and Kai are really good friends at this point. Like they're really, really, really close. They're like brothers at this point. And, you know, they they have the certain bond between the two of them that's been formed, even if it's just a couple of months into the police academy. And just having that um, and will really put us in this emotionally taxing um in an emotionally taxing mood once we get to see what happens in episode nine i feel like um and I, I mean i've talked about this in my episode eight recap video where this is a common tactic for basically a lot of dramas where they try as much as possible to you know push out certain things to their audiences like really press on certain themes to the audiences only for them to like break it because that's where the emotional effect or the emotional damage comes in and i feel like that's what they're really doing here i mean at this point episode two i feel like kaikun is just behind this entire thing like he just wants to make fun of jiro um and they're at that point in their relationship where you know um they they can pull these types of pranks with each other but then the other person you know wouldn't really take it to heart even if it's just it's just gotten super like scary or anything like that for them so i feel like that's what they're trying to like pull here for this mini series like this, these series of mini episodes um moving past that so another thing that i actually realized once i was watching i think episode three was that um one of the biggest themes um you know that um yanagida was talking to katanazaka about is that his life seemed to have stopped um after the whole shovel shovel killer case like he he's been in the police academy for nine years and there's there's this idea of you know being trapped into this own cage of your own making and then um moving past that so in episode eight kai kun was so was also pressing that sort of idea like he kept on saying that you know he broke a glass he broke his he breaks his glasses every single time they solve a case it's just that for for um the shovel killer case so he didn't break his glasses and he feels like time has stopped since then and it's definitely i think the the parallel between katanazaka and um kaikun in a way that you know if they don't solve something they feel like it's their entire responsibility and therefore time just stops which can definitely be a good thing like it makes you persistent but at the same time like similar to katanazaka it just that kind of slump really affects like how good you are at, in your job as a police officer and i feel like that's what yanagida wanted to wanted katanozaka to realize for the longest time like he wanted him to move past that and i don't know like go back to his usual self that that is probably mirrored by how kaikun is now you know he's this very energetic very witty very smart type of character that maybe katanozaka once was but because of just a single case that he couldn't move past to um it, it broke him as a person and maybe that's the same thing that with that yanagida is trying to teach jiro you know he's trying to he's trying to make him want to save his partner from 
his from that kind of faith by this entire thing because i feel like again and i've talked about this before jiro is definitely the more emotional out of the two of them like it's been pressed onto us over and over throughout the episodes kai is definitely more of like the brain brains off the operation but in terms of emotions in terms of handling all these things like that's hard for him to process and i feel like that's what this entire dynamic is about i mean again i think i'm reading too much into this and i'm pretty excited as to where the latest episode is going to go given the rate that we're going but um it's just interesting to have like these mini episodes and just realizing that you know the main point of this is just to press on the fact that these two are really close they um they really like grown fond of one another to the extent that it would just hurt us so much seeing just how much you know they're having fun together and how close they've grown and then for us to see that they're going to like at the brink of falling apart because of a certain something that we're also unsure of um, in episode 9. I'm not particularly sure if they're just going to stick to just one episode for this entire thing that they're teasing so far. But I don't know. I mean, this has gone on for so long. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, and again, looking forward to what the next part of this entire miniseries is going to be like. Um, and of course, what's gonna happen in episode 9. So there's that. Now, I'm so sorry for the noise. They're doing something outside of my room. And with that, I'm just gonna wrap up this video. So tell me down in the comments below, as usual, what do you think of this entire thing? Um, I'll try to keep doing this as much as I can. Um, if ever I get a chance to like watch the latest episodes on time. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from me, please hit subscribe. Check out the rest of my Miman Kisatsu recap review analysis videos stuff like that over wherever and yeah i'll be talking to you again soon in a new video